We've been reporting on a backlog in cases at the Milwaukee County Courthouse for months now. Now, more disturbing fallout. New tonight, 12 News Caroline Reinwald investigates the ankle monitor crisis. When the court needs to keep track of someone before trial, they give them one of these. An electronic monitoring device following them everywhere they go. It's sort of like a strapping a cell phone to someone's ankle and being able to tell where they are. But in Milwaukee County, there aren't enough to go around. Pre-COVID, the county says 90 of these tracking devices work just fine for their operations. But now a backlog in cases has led to a shortage of trackers. At this writing, more than 150 people were waiting for one. 12 News obtained a copy of the wait list. On it, people accused of violent or sexual offenses. Like Christian Mothershead, a Milwaukee public school teacher arrested for human trafficking, taken in again for breaking a no-contact order. Cotelia Scott, police say in December she tased a child at a West Dallas school. And Ruben Cardenas, a former Milwaukee police officer accused in April of sexually assaulting a 13-year-old girl. Chief Judge Mary Trigiano says the backlog is unprecedented, a problem compounded by the pandemic and worker shortage. So tell me what happens if you don't have a device for somebody. The judge may increase the level of cash bail that the person has to post and then put them on the waiting list. So there's an incentive for them to come back to court pretrial. How do you decide who gets the device, who stays in custody, how to raise, if you raise bail? Individuals who are in custody are prioritized regardless of where they fall on the wait list to get them out of custody. The chief judge says anyone minimum to medium risk is released, usually with higher bails and checked on by case managers every week. Most often people are in compliance whether they're on a device or not. Have you had any issues since the backlog of cases in people not coming in, not following orders and not being tracked? Sure. If it wasn't concerning to me, you know, I, I would be callous, right? I mean, we do our best to try to figure out how to um, understand human behavior. The state recently earmarked $1.2 million to pay for an additional 170 trackers and hire people to help monitor them 24-7. But the funding is stuck in limbo, jammed up in contract discussions. She says she hopes to get the money soon for a system already spread too thin. What keeps you up at night about this job, Your Honor? What are you worried the most about? The staff, the professionals, the people who have been working in the system for two years, um, overtime and double time because we don't have enough people, are getting tired. In Milwaukee, Caroline Reinwald, WISN 12 News. The chief judge says the contract to have the new tracking monitors is set to begin June 